This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Iskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's episode, we're talking all about hand jog. Hand jog. The, the manual control of the machine. Yes. So this happens with the hand jog button. Yep. And the four buttons here. That's correct. All right, now, hand jog, I get, that makes sense. And you, you go hand jog and then you select your axis, like yep. X, mm -hmm. and you do your thing. These buttons have two different numbers on them. Now, I've always known what the top button is. If you select, like, if, if you pick hand jog, and go here, thousandths, and press X. Every time you make a click, that's a thousandth of an inch. That's correct. If you go here, it's a hundred thou. If you go here, it's a tenth of an inch. If you're, uh, yeah. Ten thousandths uh, ten of an thousandths inch. Ten thousandths of an inch. If you go here, it's a tenth of an inch. That's correct. What are the bottom numbers The do? bottom ones are for feed rate. If you huh? take and you hold the button, yeah. the table will move. Notice the numbers? Yeah. All right, and then you can make it feed a little faster. And over here, this actually moves at 100 inches per minute. So the bottom number is inch per minute feed In rate. feed rate if you hold, if you hold the, button the direction. Down. All right, so do you know what jog lock is? Yeah, jog lock. If you're making a pass and you're moving and you put it in the X, you can hold the X down to make a movement. You press jog lock. It'll just keep on, just keep on moving. Okay. And then what happens when it hits the end? It just stops. It just stops. It just okay. stops. Cool. So it's if you were facing something off, you were building a fixture, and instead of doing the hand crank all the way over and all the way back, you, you can, can say, just, boop, boop. yeah, I'll just hold the jog lock and we'll, we'll just feed across. Okay. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. All right. What else do we need to know about manual mode? Uh, that's about it. You know, the ten, one, one ten thousandths of an inch, thousandths of an inch, ten thousandths and a hundred thousandths movement. And that's all there is to it. In the, if you're down here in the um, hundred thousandths, every click, things happen pretty fast. Okay. When you spin the wheel, there is a little, there is a little lag because okay. you've given it so many pulses to move so fast. Especially on older machines. Oh, older machines are notorious for this. You'll go like this and you'll read 47 pulses and it starts moving 47. I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> and you may be, no, 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 back up, back up. And he says, wait a minute, I got to get to my 47 before I can back up. And if you're a fixture, your part's in the way, call your tool salesman. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing to remember is be careful with the big button when you're in Z. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crash. Yep, you run into things. X okay. and Y, you just run out of travel. Z, you can run out of travel or run into. <laughs> okay. Yeah. While we're doing this, we can still use coolant to yep, everything else? you can else? turn the coolant on. Okay. You know, that's coolant runs Okay. in, in hand jog. Uh, you can do the spindle. You can turn the spindle on forward and reverse. Okay. You can increase the RPM and feed rate and stuff like that. So this is a lot for if you're building fixtures, doing setup, I want to face something off manually. This is, this is where you want to drive the machine without I want to drive code. the machine and turn it into the old school bridge port. Okay. You know, a very fancy bridge port, yes. <laughs> and okay. these are all manual buttons for moving the machine around, for facing things off. I need to drill a hole, you can you know, drill it manually. Okay. You can move to positions, crank it over, stop, feed up, feed down, cut over, whatever you want to do. This kind of stuff is usually some of the first things that people learn. Sure, Okay. yep. Cool. So something we should touch on while we're into this mm -hmm. is that if you turn the machine into metric mode, yes. these numbers are still accurate, but they go into millimeters. That's correct. Instead. Okay. And this here becomes a hundred millimeters per minute. Okay. That's really fast. <laughs> okay. But but the they, the numbers still work. Just yes. the machine does all the math for you. That's correct. It Everything goes into metric. Yep. They're okay. all metric numbers. Cool. Um, now there's another feature with hand jog that yes. has to do with tool offsets. Yep. You can be in hand jog and then you can pick up your offsets and you can touch off your, your offsets for your height and your, your height, your G50s and stuff like that. Okay. So you hand jog over and use your edge finder, you know, and then you set zero that way. And also with your, um, your offsets and for your height offsets too. You put it in your Z, you can come down and you can touch off from there and set your tool, tool offset. Okay. And yeah. this will all be covered when we get into our offsets Offsets, video. yes. Okay. But in hand jog, you use your offsets that way also. Okay. Excellent. Are there any other things associated with hand jog? Oh, we should in cover? hand jog, you can, you can hand jog. You can hand jog with the doors open. Okay. If you want to move back and forth. So as you're doing a setup for a tool or whatever you, you make, or making fuss fixtures, with things you can and mess things. And at this point here, you can pull in. And if you had your indicator, you wanted to tram 
something. Ah, uh, like setting right? up a vice oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, I want to move it a little bit more. Click, a little bit more. Click. Okay, we're good. I have found zero. Then I can set my G50. Okay. Okay? Excellent. Yeah, so you can move with the doors open. You're okay. not going to have automatic operation, but you can move the machine around to do your work. Okay. So that's everything, all the basics on sure. hand jog. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. As always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.